friends as i have already discussed with you that i will be discussing or i'll be posting the third most part of the video session so in this video i'll be discussing about the third part of the um project all about speech recognition using lab view object speech recognition using lab view and this video i'll be discussing in this video i'll be displaying all the front planner as well as how usually what are the three main parts what is all about the modeling which i am using so how the sound has been propagated how the password has been authenticated how the password has been given permission so all the things will be displacing uh displaying in the video itself so first and foremost thing you have to learn that we we are designing a project which is based on our commands one lesson until our commands matters there we will not be having any kind of programming language in the lab view interface so first and foremost thing that you have to understand that you are yourself you are designing the command and your command is been processed in the lab view okay that's the thing you have to understand unless and until other uh, unless and until you cannot program for other person in the modeling interface you cannot be having that which you have cannot be having that model so that you have to stick in your mind itself that you are commanding your voice rather than utilizing any other voice if you want to get clear about the project let me have the contact of you in the comment section i will be contacting with you i will be sharing all the detail about the project and i will be sharing the a project of uh, the sub bi which i am having with you in the upcoming video sessions so what's the video uh, of how the modeling user interface in lab view is all about so this is how the front panel usually looks like and here we will be having the phrases here you will be having the username as well as passport so phrases in the sense that you will be sensing on off for commanding different uh, panels like a led here is there here is the tanker which is also been illustrated and here is the left right button which usually get your commands based upon the phrases if you say s it will command s if you say no it will command no accordingly the bulb will glow on and off so that's the thing that's the main important point of giving phrases in the command or in the uh, project interface so without wasting time let me demonstrate about how the front panel usually looks like what are the different characteristics which you usually been utilized in the project itself so when i discuss about the front panel analysis then three most thing you have to understand one is to demonstrate the concept it has been introduced in the paper itself the three main parts what are the three main parts which i am usually continuously i am saying that is speech capture module okay your your speech is been captured okay your speech of the command which you are giving is been captured then after it is been analyzed okay or we can say that initialization of the speech okay then after those command which will be initialized or which will be processed in the digital signal processing you have might be learning or you might have learned how the processing of signal is been done if you have any queries uh, like i will be posting your uh, all the queries all the doubts in the comment section you can ask me everything related to this project so then after the speech command identification okay so based upon the speech command you will be processing then after the whole system is developed in lab view 20 11 so 2011 the project has been uh, usually authenticated or been processed okay in the platform itself okay so in which the speech recognition through microphone will interface the live view code okay so i have uh, some of my uh, means some of the viewers who are watching uh, are asking you were asking me questions about whether the hardware kit is been utilized or not so usually the microphone is been utilized as a hardware kit for recognizing for commanding for analyzing the speech which you are giving okay so let me have this thoroughly uh, get an understanding about how the project is all about how the front panel usually looks like on off left right level on level one level 10 and exit so this is how usually it is been processed okay in the front panel okay in the front panel you might be having the visualization about how and the command is been utilized so once your username as well as password get entered it will redirect into the phase okay it will redirect into the phase and it will process the three main things okay that's the reason why we are using lab view as one of the most prominent part of analyzing different block diagrams through graphically so that's the thing about how project has been utilized okay so this is about you here you can have 
let me of the video session so here you can have, have the diagram or here you have the information to prevent the system imposter authentication is provided authentication means the user and password very important concept here you have to understand the authentication means there is a username or password is requiring before proceeding to the next step okay unless and un, until you cannot give the password it will not be processing to the next level so giving commands after username check the vi asked to give control to command which is already created in block diagram okay the vi will ask to give control command okay which is already created in the block diagram once the human gives the command then very important concept here you have to understand okay here you have to understand everything how actually what i have said everything will be implemented here itself or not here itself how it will redirect redirect into lab view interface through your microphone okay some of my uh, viewers even asked whether we are using microphone or not we are definitely we will be using if you are uh, if there is an alternative for not using microphone that is all about text conversion okay tot text to speech or you can say the text to uh, graphical user interface also you can convert but it takes time to give sub vi and uh, in in the black panel so it takes time but uh, giving microphone a, a part of hardware kit will be much more useful much more utilizable so i hope that you have understood what the concept is all about and how the block diagram usually helpful so let me end the video here itself for you all so i hope that you have got the sufficient information about the project so if you have any queries related to the project let me know in the comment section below thank you